Let's continue our work on our shed's pergola by creating some shade beams. And before we do that, though, let's um, let's put um, let's group our cross beam and our posts together. So I'll select each of these elements, holding the Shift key, and right-click and create a group. We'll do the same thing for our shed, so that it's going to be easy to manage when we connect things to it. Right, select it all, right-click and make that a group also. Good. Now let's move our cross beam and match it up and put it in front of our shed. So I'll rotate a little bit, select the Move tool, grab it by the corner, and slide it back and it should snap right on. Oh, so far so good. Well, let's loop, move in and see that we've done that. Nope. There we are. Now I'm going to pull it forward and make a copy of this. We'll move this out now by grabbing, grabbing the front control along the green axis. There we are. Press control to make a copy and we want to make this 12 feet. There we are. Change my view and let's get ready to make uh, some shade beams. Switch over to my rectangle tool and I'll create a shade beam that's 4 by 12 inches. And already I'm going to make this a component. I'll select it, right click and make component, and call it a shade beam. Click create. I have to triple click it to make it extend upward. So we'll do that. P for the push pull tool. And we'll just bring it up, oh, 48. 48 inches or so. And then we'll rotate it to put it where we need it to be. And pick a corner. Now we don't want to do it in this selected mode, so I'm going to press escape. Because if I do, if I do rotate it, this way, I think I only rotate one element, and that would mess it up. So let's not do that. I'll press Escape, Spacebar, Select Away, and just simply select it. So they're not selected. Now I can use the the Rotate tool, selecting one, selecting one point, then a second, rotate it down till it snaps. And you know, you could type 90 in here also. So if I just simply typed 90 and pressed Enter, it would go to 90. Back to my select tool, change my orientation, and let's stand this up. Let's move this up to the top of our beam. So grab it and bring it up and line it to the top. There. Now we're ready to um, finish the dimensions of our beam and create others. To make that change, we'll select it and use our push pull tool. Click on that inter surface and pull it out. We'll make that 18 inches out in front and spin it around to the back, grab, let's zoom in so we can see what we're doing. Grab that, pull that out, and just match that or line that up with the back of this 2x4, or back of this beam. There we are. So now our beam is done. Now we just need to make more of these beams across our pergola. So I want to select it. I'll m use the Move tool grab this in inside or rather this outside corner because it'll be the inside on this edge or this this inside corner to be the outside on this edge so grab this and we'll drag it across the the red plane holding the shift key I'll press control once and get it all the way out there and it should snap in place I'll let go now before you do anything else once you let go press six forward slash forward slash that's the same key top as the as the question mark and press enter and you'll get six more of those and we're done but wait that's not all we also should organize our our parts because if we when we when we have to deal with these there's there's so many of them um, let's find a control that will do that so we'll go up to window from window, we'll turn on Outliner, and we'll see that we have all of our parts here. If I want to group these together, I can click on this shade beam, hold my Shift key down, this shade beam, 
and I can right click click on this selection and just make a group out of these and call them uh, shade beams. Right click to rename. There we are. And I can open and control that group. So what is this? This looks like my group of uh, my cross beams and my posts. Well, I'm going to ungroup that. How do I do that? I can right click and explode. So there they are, cross beam and posts. And this one is my other group. So I'll right click that and explode. So it's just cross beams and posts. Because I want to actually group these together. So if I hold a shift key and click all my posts, I can group those and call them posts. Right click on that. So now my posts are in a group. And what's left? My building. I'm going to re rename that to be shed. And we'll we'll come back and address this later. But we'll do that now just to be consistent. And crossbeam I'll take those two elements, select both of those, group those together, rename that as well. And rename to be cross beams. There. So now we have an outline of all of our all of our elements. And if we want to select all of our shade beams, we can just select this. And we know where they are and we've got them all selected. This concludes this part of the exercise of making our shed and pergola. Save your work and we'll continue.